Is it possible to be humble and powerful at the same time? I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashiva. So I got this question, it's a very interesting question. And uh, is it possible to be humble and to be powerful at the same time? The answer is yes. And that is where Swamiji is sharing about the multidimensional logic. In the human logic, in the human logic, we see things binary. It's yes or no. There's no other possibility. There is always a kind of a sacrifice that has to be made. But actually, that is why the human logic cannot explain so many things that are happening in the universe, because that logic itself is incomplete. Sankhya, Sanatana Hindu Dharma introduces the Sankhya philosophy, the Sankhya lo logic, which is basically a multidimensional logic. It is not, it's not a logic which is linear, it's a logic where there is different dimensions in which uh, things can happen. And it's very important to start to cognize that multidimensional logic because only then we will gain the maturity and the, the right space to engage with life and be more successful and more fulfilled in what we do. Now, um, we always feel, you know, Sometimes, I mean, especially in the spiritual world or whatever we call the spiritual world, people will feel like, you know, when you're powerful, you're just being arrogant, you should be humble and just always be small and present yourself in a very humble way. And then some people, you know, they always want to present themselves in big ways. And um, the truth is that powerfulness and humbleness, true powerfulness cannot happen without humbleness, true humbleness cannot happen without powerfulness. This is the click I got. And that is the space of oneness that Swamiji is constantly uh, reminding us about, which is, um, it's the Shiva and the Shakti kind of component, right? They both happen, they, they both play simultaneously. Swamiji was saying in a satsang, um, being powerful and vulnerable is enlightenment. So vulnerability is a very, uh, what, I, what, I, what clicked with me was that vulnerability or humbleness is a very um, feminine, uh, yielding, feminine, yielding, yielding kind of experience or manifestation of consciousness, whereas powerfulness is a very assertive, very um, powerful, very masculine kind of dimension of consciousness. And Shiva has one of his forms uh, as Ardhanarishwara. And Ardhanarishwara is half Shiva, half Devi. His body is split in half and there's the two components. And that is basically the space of oneness. When both happen in us simultaneously, that is enlightenment. So that is why actually there's no decision between humble and powerful. We need to find the space where we can, when we are powerful and humble simultaneously. And, uh, and that is the space where the mind collapses, the human mind that we cherish collapses because a human mind cannot understand these things. He always feels it has to be one or the other. Both cannot happen simultaneously. So the key word is simultaneously. And um, so when you realize the Paramashivoham, the more and more you realize the Paramashivoham experience, the more you re realize that vulnerability within yourself and that powerfulness within yourself, automatically when you engage with others, you will engage from that space. And that is why, you know, always, even if we are engaged in the outer world, always contemplating on the inner space that we are in and completing and unclutching from what is happening so that we can um, radiate that humbleness and that uh, powerfulness simultaneously and enrich people because when you are in the space of humbleness and powerfulness people will never feel threatened they will feel inspired uh, by your powerfulness and they will feel comforted by your humbleness and like that both of the spaces are kind of uh, perfectly balanced where the person there's no threat there's no threat experience um, from the person in front of you and when the person in front of you does not feel threatened then automatically a beautiful relationship starts to blossom so that's the click I wanted to share with you in this video so if you have any comments any questions write them down below check the description below for good content and uh, subscribe like and I'll see you in the next video thank you very much for watching thank you Nityananda